God. Oh shit, it's bird fetus with magic. What is going on? Ow! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> A point where I forget that I didn't take any magic resist. <laughs> That's a four starring normal. Yes. Yeah, this is like the Grim Dark Potter reboot. Uh, I guess we yes. go this way. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yes. Did we, have we been that way? No, because there's doors. Oh. Open. Okay. Cool. Oh. So that door's open for when we inevitably um, stop paying attention and get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've. To say I've had beef about this is kind of overstating it, but uh, I've been reading a lot of articles this year of people saying that this is how you must make a game, and I've been getting a little bit peeved with it, because... Okay. So is this from... are these written by people who have made games, uh, or yes. are these... Well, uh, okay. Some of them are obnoxious, like, I know how video games are made, even though I've never actually made one. Um, yes. I can rejoin you on the roof. But it's interesting because okay. each person is talking from their discipline and they usually say something along the lines of, you can't make X without my discipline and here's why. And I've been finding yes. it really fascinating because games are actually, they actually fly in the face of that. You know, with video games. Oh no, that's not how you jump. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I can't make that jump, so sort of. Um, with video games, it's very much the case of uh, who's below us. Oh, just a vomiter. Um, it's very much a case that you can start from any number of places and get very different outcomes. So you can have a game entirely built by programmers with no artists, and it can still be a cracking game. It'd be a very yeah. different game, but it's not. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's uh, a little guy on the bridge over there. One of your crystal lizards. Oh. oh no, that's not the. <laughs> oh, dude, he's on my oh. face. He's on my fucking face. Get him off. No, your face. Your face. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he Heal. fell down. Oh my god. <laughs> we all just learned a very Where? valuable lesson. <laughs> dude, I made it out of there with <laughs> almost no fucking health. <laughs> Oh, where where's he gone though? He's down. He's on the area below. You know where the stab, where the sword one killed all the fetuses. Which is a thing okay. I never thought I'd say out loud. No. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Uh, uh, but yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the wonderful thing. You can have people of all different disciplines making wonderful games. Yeah. Any, um, any one of those can be the so you know you can be design led, writing led, you know programming led, art led, and all of those are entirely valid ways to approach a product. So yes, definitely, yeah, and all have uh, success stories behind them. Yeah. So yeah, th there's definitely no one prescribed way of doing something. Um, I get. I think. I get grumpy when people start talking in that kind of absolutes, especially when it comes to making games, because there's such a, a subjective form. Where are you at? I'm about to. I think I'm about to get into the shit. I'm. I'm back on the bridge. I wasn't quite sure which way you went. Oh, I see you. I'm coming. Come. Hello. Um, hello. Hello. Yeah, I think the the one thing they all kind of have in common is that they generally all have a good idea. Um, whether it's like a simple gameplay mechanic that they execute well or a good premise, yes. there's like one one definable feature about all of them. We go, that's what what worked for this, um, and I think often that's what people miss. Um, they kind of jump straight into monetization and. Uh, Kind of the the how you're going to franchise something rather than working out exactly what is the the hook. Yes, as it was. Uh, finding yeah. the fun is the one we kind of preach religiously over here. Uh, I'm going to drop on this guy's face, so this is going to happen, and then okay. all shit's uh, going to break loose. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. How did you get onto that beam? 
Uh, I walked very uh, slowly off the edge. Just, just super slow. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Okay. Oh, hello. Right, so you're gonna. Hello. I'm gonna drop on uh, on Hoodsy McFuck. Wait, wait, wait. There's two of them. Yeah. There are two of them, you know. Okay. Are we gonna? Are uh -huh. we just gonna cheat kill him? <laughs> I mean, well, I, would... I don't know if we can we get them both at the same time. Uh... Or can we both get the same? So if I get. Oh. I wish this guy would stand still. Well, how about we cheat runs a lot, and then we'll deal with the other fucker. Okay. Um... Fucking hell. This was a terrible problem. Okay. I don't think of this. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm going to come Holy away. Holy shit, that so boy can go. jump. Did he get you? No, no, but he gave it a fucking good go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking Andrew! <laughs> That's what I love about this game, just genuinely too scared to just drop down there and yep. actually fight them. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping we get a gajillion messages that just say we tried getting good. Yeah. <laughs> If you could, if you could just, if you could just hit him, that'd be great. That that would be wonderful, yeah. But uh, I don't seem to be able to do even that. Jesus, I made him angry. Oh my god! Oh, Yay! Go. I hit him. <laughs> it's a cheap win. As you said, there's no such thing as a cheap win in Dark Souls. Yeah. Because every time okay, you're like, maybe, right. maybe I'm breaking the system, and then you just play the fucking dancer fight again, and... Alright, I'm dropping in. Uh, yeah. Ready? Do it. Jim. Yep, go for it. Oh, there we go. Ah. Okay. They, like, they dropped some nice chunky shards there for us. Fantastic. <laughs> Meanwhile, in fucking up chairs... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the honourable Dark Souls tradition to fuck up all furniture. Yeah. Oh, they've got a beautiful prop arrangement. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, some level designer spending months just making that chapel look gorgeous. Only to have players immediately fuck it up. <laughs> drop and roll, drop and roll. There's, um, there was something behind here. I don't know if you want to come back. Always. Um, and also, so the way not to go. Uh, we're also being warned of a tough enemy up ahead, so. Ah, okay. Uh... Oh. Yeah, see, that just feels like bullying. <laughs> Is there anything here? No. No, just screaming horrors from the well. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Give me flashbacks to those fucking pigs in Dark Souls 2. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Those little oh. fuckers. I went back and <laughs> systematically killed them every time I went for like a big, like. Oh! Trees, 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 trees. Trees. Oh, one's picked me up. That's interesting. Don't die. I'm. Uh, I'm frostbitten. And, uh. Oh, God. Don't you die on me? Don't you fucking die on me? <laughs> okay, I'm good. Uh, it says be wary of a tough enemy in there. Just gonna quickly peek around the side, as one should always do in Dark Souls. Uh, so yes. there's there's a goodie right next to an immediate uh, screaming hell bitch tree. Okay, well so, let's let's get rid of the uh, the tree. It's just, it's really unsettling that their ambient noise is oh, like no. a, a person shivering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get used to those. Oh, got a young white branch. I can't remember what they're good for. Um, are they... Oh, do they, they camouflage? Yes, I think that's I can't remember, but you... Yeah, and you need them to stop the, uh, the giant from shooting you. Yeah. Ah, it's so it's so cool when he becomes your friendo. Right, are we ready in case shit goes down? 
Um, I guess so. Oh, there's someone. Okay, he's got the life steal plus shield fist, and he does. I find out. I like the way you back off to just slightly behind me as he got closer. <laughs> he's also called Sir Wilhelm, <laughs> which is fucking hell. He's, he's a bit nippy. Didn't like that though, did you, dickhead? Oh. Healing oh. dickhead! Boof! Back of the net! Heal out of that, you shit! <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Very nicely done. Ooh, I got the Onyx Blade! Okay. Man, this is this is nice. I'm glad we did this over the holidays because this is. I'm getting flashbacks of you know staying up till stupid o'clock fighting crazy bosses. With <laughs> yes, yeah, good times. Something's in here making god awful dead noises. There's a, a people, yeah. Yes, and I've got the contraption handle for it now as well. I just had to fuck up those four desks in particular. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this one chair in particular. Stupid, stupid books. Okay. I was elected to uh, lead, not to read. Yeah. I like the fact that okay, opening the stairs also ruined furniture and books. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's someone on that table. I'm probably going to have to talk to him, so excuse me while boring exposition happens. I believe. Okay. I feel the scent of ash upon thee. It's a creepy, ash, uh, like, dull-faced, kind of, like, icy, the creepy person. Oh, yes. It is good. The door is open thanks to thee. Uh, she's just... Good. I uh, she's just thanking us for opening the door. The door is open. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Anytime. The contraption does not move. And that is an immediate pit of death, so we're not going down there. Uh, let me see if I can open this. Yes, it does not open from this side, of course. Okay. So, oh, so I have to just cheeky it round, all right. Lighting the bonfire! Ah, nice, okay. And, oh, there's that. There we go. As someone drives a bike through your living room. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. Yeah, so I'm in the office and we don't have double glazing in here, as you uh, you might have yeah. noticed. Uh, and also seem to run a, uh, a small scrambler <laughs> racetrack. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, so we're back killing ice vikings again rather than those fucking screaming horrors. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh. Yeah, alright, mate. Nice. Oh, watch out for Speary. Yep. Oh, watch out for other oh, flame dudes. Nice. Teamwork. That's okay. Teamwork. Oh, five guys to the side. Yeah. Both sides, I think. Oh, they're, they're, they're on me. Oh, God. Oh, shit, the bed. <laughs> God bless this fucking beast of a sword. <laughs> that nearly went south so fast. I was just okay. about to say oh, something along the lines of, yeah, it's nice, you know, we're, we're operating as a team, side by side, killing wrong <laughs> Vikings. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, should we go up? Yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah. old Half-Life 1 rule. Up is good, down is bad. Oh, I've got a javelin in me. Could you just? Oh, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll just. I'll, oh, I'll get that for you. 
Thank you. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. There's um, a giant bell there. Oh, Christ! <laughs> okay, maybe up wasn't the best plan. And now he's down as well. Okay. Should we just go down there and get stuck in? Yeah, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> that was so Beautiful. cool!